Today I'll be meeting up with Justin, a Sparky who decided early on to become his own boss. But is the life of a tradie everything it's cracked up to be? Let's go and find out. Hey Justin. How are you buddy? G'day Tim, how you doing mate? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely to meet you. I've got to start by asking, where'd the name come from? Omzen is sort of my mantra. I uh, run my business and live my life with it. It's sort of uh, all about putting out the right energy and then, and then receiving it. Nice. Yes. I had enough work for myself and a couple of apprentices early. I got a couple of vans on the road and then it stayed like that for a good few years until we really built up a good solid client base. It's really good to have gone through that rough stage and then just put in the hard jacket to sort of like build it back up again. I've got different guys that focus on projects, I've got others that focus on maintenance. Part of retaining great people is making them enjoy where they work. How do you do that? The culture is really important. We make sure that we're mates first and colleagues second. By hiring the right staff uh, that can really take the lead, I've been able to take a step back and then be working on the business rather than in it. As soon as I was able to do that, I've noticed a huge difference. My business just runs so much better, I'm less stressed, and we make more money. Can you wrap some numbers around Omzen? Last month, we did our biggest month, that was, was 100. 100k revenue. Yeah, yeah, 100,000 for, for the month, and then oh, wow. five vans. Bought my fifth one last week, and then I'm in an office at the moment. We leased that, but I'm looking to buy over in Port Melbourne. If I wasn't doing this, I've got no idea what I'd be doing. I'm proud of, of what I've built. I imagine one of the great threats of a business like this and a project like this, yeah. quoting. That's probably why I had such a slow start. Really, really getting your head around how much things actually cost, yes. and then the expectations, the amount of time that goes into it. Uh, there was definitely some lessons learned in the first couple of years. Was there a moment when you thought, too hard, I'll just go and work for someone else? Nah, there's no backup plan on this one. Beautiful. There's something really interesting for a business owner to have a plan B, no, mm. no parachute. It's yeah. like, this is it, yeah, it's gonna work. The motivation comes from wanting to have a, a better life in the future. I just naturally want to excel in, in what I do. And so I guess that's the motivation to, for it to keep growing. Let's talk marketing. It's obviously a very critical way you're going to build that business and get more customers and inquiry. So at the moment we rebranded. We kind of had a little soft rebrand to begin with. Uh, we changed the logo and the feel of the company. Why the rebrand? Why the rebrand? Well, I started on when I was 24. It was very ad hoc. So there was no feel behind it, there was no concept, and now I'm looking for consistency, uh, more of a professional um, outfit for people that don't know us yet. Are you a goal setter? I am, but they're forever changing. They're forever changing, but definitely I think you've got to have those goals to work towards. Otherwise, uh, you know, so what are you working for? What are your top three at the moment? Uh, building a, a property portfolio, traveling a little bit more next year, because I've had to put that on hold, and then maybe having a, a little bit more time for, for like friends in, in my relationship. Big goals, fantastic. Requiring some investment, I would imagine. I feel like most of it's time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's the most expensive commodity that, um, that I have. Definitely the most um, sort of worthy. I'm very interested. There, there is a lot of different colour coding. We've got red wires, we've got white, I've seen blue. White for power, red for fire. Easy. 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 <laughs> I reckon I could become a spark. <laughs> oh, mate, I'll give you a job. No worries. <laughs> What a character Justin is from Omzen. He is running a fantastic business. I love the fact that he surrounds himself with people who are as motivated as he is. That can only lead to a great result for how he builds Omzen into the future. Justin's fantastic attitude and professional knowledge are a great combination for blog material. Yellow's SEO team can help, ensuring Justin has plenty of fresh regular content to post, They'll also use their expertise to maximise the content's SEO potential to trusted sources. Tip number two for Justin, it's time to update the website. He knows that, he acknowledged it. He has great stories to tell. This is really important for when it comes time for a prospect to choose an electrician. Another tip for Justin is to have a really crystal clear vision of where the business is headed. From decisions around cash flow to marketing to branding are gonna all head in the same direction and will produce a fantastic result for what already is a thriving little business. Justin, you're full of passion, you're building a wonderful business, and I wish you all the success into the future, brother. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it.